Association for Public Policy Analysis is appealing to the federal government to initiate effective implementation of independent electricity distribution network policy. These, they say, will improve the electricity supply to consumers who are unable to get electricity. Speaking to newsmen in Abuja, the national president, Comrade Prince Will Corey, wants the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission to stop discourse from supplying consumers with electricity. This, he claims, will promote private sector's participation and avoid private monopoly of power supply. The purpose of this conference, therefore, is to draw attention of the vibrant Nigerian media practitioners to the identified infractions and advocate for possible solutions that could improve the governance of the nation's electricity sector. Specifically, this forum is initiated to advocate for effective implementation of independent electricity distribution networks policy in line with the vision of Federal Minister of Power, which is to improve electricity supply to those consumers whom the electricity distribution companies are unable to serve. Let me start by drawing attention to funds that have gone into the power sector, which justifies our concern for collective action meant to improve the sector. An overview of funds that have gone into the electricity sector since 1999. According to Energy Business, April 2016, Volume 15, Number 160, in the space of 16 years, the sum of $29.635 billion, or $6.52 trillion, was spent in the power sector. Obasanjo administration spent $16 billion, $3.52 trillion. Yaradu administration spent $5.375 billion, uh, equivalent to $1.183 trillion. Good luck, Jonathan, spent $8.2 billion. During the honor Honorable Dimej Bankole investigation of power sector, at Federal House of Representatives. It was discovered that about 2,500 containers of imported power equipment worth about $5 billion were abandoned at Lagos Port, and it attracted demorage valued at 4 billion naira. The issues here, despite all the above mentioned funds injected into the power sector, evidence on ground is not encouraging. For example, Energy Business in 2016 reported that Nigeria spent over 700 and 96.4 billion naira annually on fuel to power generators. It is also estimated that Nigeria spent 13 billion naira to purchase generators to solve their industrial, commercial, and domestic problems in 2016. MTN, by the same energy business, said is said to be spending 5.5 million dollars on diesel monthly to fuel its 6,000 generators that run for 19 hours daily, everywhere they operate. Generators are on 19 hours every day. Under the 10th European Development Fund, the European Union injected 150 million euro for provision of electricity infrastructure in the northern region of Nigeria. Center for Social Justice, in her publication titled Implementing the Nigerian Electricity Market Stabilization Facility, revealed that Central Bank of Nigeria, under its Nigeria Electricity Market Stabilization Funds, set up in December 2014, plan to inject 2.13, billion into the power sector for the purpose of setting up, settling outstanding payment obligations due to market participants, service providers and gas suppliers under the interim rules period. Out of the amount pronounced, the sum of 120.2 billion naira was disbursed to various qualified market participants before the funds were stopped, suspended as a result of operating technical issues. Guardian newspaper of 3rd December 2017 reported that Senate is to probe alleged $1.35 billion power sector fraud. In the report, the Senate was said to have asked Senator Dino Meleya, APC Kogi West, to present a substantive motion on what it called series of financial abuses in the sector since 2015. It was said that there is $1 billion euro bond raised in 2013 to fund key power projects. $35 million was set aside for AFAM fast power projects, allegedly spent by officials of power ministry without appropriation and feasibility study. Out of the 1 billion euro bond, $350 million was given to Nigeria Bulk Electricity Trading Company in 2014. $29 million purportedly paid to General Electric for turbines 
while six million six million dollar was paid to us. Business day of October 2017 reported that federal government is planning to inject its 871 billion into power sector by 2018. According to federal government's 2018 to 2020 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal payer strategy paper, the breakdown shows that Central Bank of Nigeria CBM financing facility will account for 310 billion and will go into stabilization of the Nigerian electricity market by providing loans for electricity distribution companies and electricity generation companies. The sum of 61 billion could be contributed by the World Bank program for results. Part of the funds will go towards a performance-based loan to enable the Nigeria Bulk Electricity Trading Company pay 100% of its wholesale invoices in full and on time. The loan is to be used to reduce technical losses. Why I'm explaining this is for you to look at all these monies that are going in. None has been said have been go has gone into trying to develop capacity of consumers to really understand how the sector works. All these are loans that are being given to either for generation or for distribution or for transmission. Consumers are out of the way. Then the independent power producers that are sourcing funds on their own to operate are out of the way. The federal government is said to make budgetary provision for the sum of $914 billion which will go into funding of transmission lines and the national grid undertaken by Transmission Company of Nigeria. The sum of $315 billion will go towards power assets ownership restructuring and settlement of DISCO's debts, which we are created on account of federal government's refusal to allow cost-reflective tariff regime. Irrespective of these funds, the federal government has presented a budget of $8.61 trillion for 2018 fiscal year, that was last year, with 555.88 billion going into Federal Minister of Power, Works and Housing. I believe the media will be able to look at how these funds, the results that came out of all these uh, efforts that are made in terms of funding. Because each time you talk about the power sector, complaint is about uh, inadequate funding, inadequate funding. The ones that have already been put in there, have we evaluated them? What results have been achieved with those ones? There is need to find out. Okori urged the federal government to monitor the activities of NERC to ensure it does not violate the provision of Electricity Power Sector Reform Act 2005. Magdalene Palmer, Voice TV Nigeria.